I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I'm really excited to be here today. I always am. You know, I'm crazy and I love machine quilting. Today I'm going to be sharing a sashing design, how to machine quilt this really cool sashing and create a nice place for your eye to rest. So in today's video, I'm actually going to share two variations of this design. Now let me tell you, before we get into stitching, on a regular quilt, like a client quilt or one of my own quilts, I probably wouldn't use both of these designs. However, I am quilting today on my brand new class sample. So I have a brand new class called Let's Stitch Millie's Favorite. In this class, I'm teaching you 12 awesome new ways to machine quilt the Millie's Favorite quilt block. Now, if you aren't familiar with this block, this block all consists completely of half square triangles. So if you are looking for ideas for half square triangles, um, even flying geese you could use these designs for, or pinwheel blocks, you are going to love this class. Now you can find all the details for this class plus register over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Before we get stitching though, just a few of the products that I'm using here. Obviously I'm going to be doing all of my quilting here on my Gamel 22 inch machine. You know that I love hand guided quilting, so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, the thread that I'm using is so fine thread on the top. I love so fine. And the batting that I'm using is one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool batting. I love that batting too. I'm also going to be using my four in one machine quilting ruler. Let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. Today we're going to stitch two different versions of a similar sashing design. So a lot of times when I look at a sashing, I want somewhere for my eye to rest. There's a lot going on in my block, the quilting is heavy, and I just need somewhere for my eye to rest. So in these two designs that I'm going to share with you, I'm sharing first of all, how to create that space for your eye to rest and then fill in with a fun design. I'm going to share two different designs just because I don't think there's any right or wrong way to quilt any design. So here are two fun versions. Now on this quilt sample, I did stitch the feather version going through all of my horizontal rows and I stitched the ribbon candy version going through all of my vertical rows. Now, this isn't typically how I would quilt an actual quilt if this were not a class sample. Generally, I would quilt one of the designs consistently throughout the whole quilt. The other thing though I want you to notice, when I do quilt out this design, the feather version I am going to quilt and make it look like it goes all the way through the sashing and then I'm going to make the ribbon candy design look as though it kind of leaves underneath the feather design. Now I am also going to be using a high contrast thread here. I'm using this so that you can see it on camera so that it'll really stand out. But also, it does create a lot of interest. If you're feeling confident with your machine quilting, feel free to try high contrast threads and really make your machine quilting pop. All right, so let's start out with the feather version. I'll start out by stitching using a ruler foot on my machine and my four in one machine quilting ruler. I'll start out as close to my body as my throat space will allow me. I'm going to hold my ruler right along the side of my block and then I'm going to stitch a straight line. So by holding my ruler right there, my straight line is going to be a quarter of an inch away from the side of my block. Now this is what's creating that nice place for my eye to rest. When I get all the way up to the outside of my sashing, when I reach that border, then I'm going to stitch along the border, along my ditch, and then travel back down as far as my throat space will allow me. Now, you could do this as more of a continuous line design if you rotated your quilt. However, I don't love rotating my quilts. Once I load it on the machine, I want to quilt as much as I can like that. So, I'll work in sections and quilt this design one little bit at a time. 
So once I've stitched all the way back down, creating that second echo line, the place where my eye will rest, now I'm going to start and fill this in with some fun, playful feathers. This is also a really great way to practice quilting feathers. I found that working in controlled spaces like I'm doing here, it makes it a little bit easier just to practice repeating that same feather shape over and over again until I filled in that space completely. So I work across my quilt from left to right, one section at a time. So here I'm repeating the same process, starting out by creating those echoes, the place for my eye to rest, and then filling that in with the half feather. You'll notice as I do quilt out this half feather, my stitching doesn't always stitch right back on top of itself. I call this more of a playful feather because it is playful. It's not perfect. All right, so let's quilt some more sashing designs. So in this one, we're going to stitch the ribbon candy. Again, I'm going to start out by creating that controlled space, creating the place for my eye to rest. I like the look of stitching the ditch, so on this one, I did start out by stitching in the ditch, and then I'll travel and create that echo stitch. Now, I mentioned a minute ago that I want this ribbon candy section to look as though it kind of weaves underneath the sections where I've quilted the feathers. So I'll stitch right up to that point where I've already stitched that feather design, working on the top and bottom side of that sashing, once I've got that complete, then I'm going to fill in with that ribbon candy design. Whenever I'm stitching ribbon candy, I like to kind of think to myself that I'm working back and forth, working around a circle. If it helps for you to even draw a circle on the top side of your sashing and the bottom of your sashing to get that repeated shape, kind of the concept of working around a circle, working back and forth. Now, the way that I've stitched out this design, most often with my machine quilting, I like to work from left to right. On this particular one though, this is as if you're standing behind my machine, just based on how I stitched out my controlled lines first, I'm actually going to quilt from right to left. I highly recommend practicing working both directions, right to left and left to right. You will find in machine quilting that are, there are times where you'll want to stitch left to right or right to left. I found just a little bit of inspiration from this fun sashing design. Now the sample that I'm quilting this design on is for my brand new class, Millie's Favorite. In this class I teach you 12 different ways to machine quilt the Millie's Favorite quilt block. It's such a fun block. You can find all the details plus register for this class or pick up the notions that I'm using here, the ruler, my piece and quilt pop socket ruler grip, thread, batting, and so much more over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody. 